Wednesday mornings means the Paris science. Yes. You got the lab coat uh -huh. looking spiffy over the here. Three piece going on. Yeah, there you go. I don't bust it out too often, <laughs> but when I do, the three piece with Kelly the lab takes coat. note. That's yeah. for sure. Uh, so, what kind of science stories you got? For well, us? this is important during the summertime. You know what the Gulf Stream is, right? Well, now well we hear you talk about it. We talk about the Gulf Stream sometimes. There's actually a way to see this mysterious current. Mm. The flow moves warm water like a highway from the Gulf of Mexico all the way to the Atlantic and even to Western Europe. Hmm. Now scientists at MIT combine satellite data and computer models to show the circulation and the heat that goes along with it. Wow. And you can even see the little eddy swirls as the current moves on by. It reminds me of Starry Night or something. Starry, Starry Right, can't night. you see that? That's yeah. crazy to see, especially how it just goes here, and then sometimes it'll spin this way yes. and then shoot off again, again in another direction. The ocean is a fluid, the atmosphere is a fluid, and that's why sometimes you see little bit swirls right. out there too. Another kind of water story for yeah, us Yeah, this one, taking it back to the ground level though. Get ready for the deepest pool in the world. Wow. Researchers at the University of Essex in the UK are trying to fund a pool 164 feet deep wow. to help simulate deep sea diving and also simulate microgravity in outer space. Currently, NASA's own training pool is only 40 feet deep. Yeah, right? Wow. So this would be a much better simulation of both of those environments. However, the pool's price tag is 60 million bucks. They're still trying to get funding, of course, because that's how a large dollar How do you even, how do you build a pool 146 feet? 164. 164 feet Tack deep. Tack on 25 more feet on top of that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, you just dig, dig, Leave dig. Leave them to that. Man, yeah. that's crazy. That would be cool that's to see happen, there. and you would see a lot of scientists convening right. there to make it happen. Also, speaking of scientists, this one kind of creeped you out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little nervous about this All one. All right, we've known for a long time that the ancestors of modern snakes have had legs, but never actually saw a fossil oh. with functioning <laughs> limbs until now. There's that snake. Paleontologists call this creature Tetrapodivus amplicatus, which lived about um, 113 million years ago. It's eight inches long, but the Ew. legs are only less than a centimeter in length. But the story gets weirder here, Kelly. Get this, the fossil was found over a decade ago, but because the limbs were so tiny, it wasn't discovered that oh. there were even legs on this prehistoric snake until this past week. That's crazy. Yeah, the scientist was just walking in the museum in Germany and said, let's reanalyze this guy here. And the snake here. was walking too. Yeah, right. Oh, creepy stuff there. At one point. Thank you for that. I needed, I needed the goosebumps this morning. Put down your cereal. Uh, this is Parascience every Wednesday morning here on Sunrise. Always look forward to it. Max, thank you so much. Stay with us. We've got Money News when we come back.